Carlin Gay here, standing for NorthPoleHoops.com. I got the man, Kevin Pangos, Mr. Basketball Ontario. Kevin, talk about the award. You won it last night. How does it feel? It feels good. Um, I try to not pride myself on awards, but more accomplishments. Um, but it's always nice to be recognized for what I've done. And uh, I've tried to raise the basketball level in Ontario with some guys leaving and stuff. I've stayed. So um, it feels good to be recognized like that. But as I said, I, I like accomplishments such as medals and stuff better than any award. You mentioned accomplishments. Now that your high school career is officially over, you're heading on to Gonzaga next year. We all know that. What is the biggest accomplishment so far that you've accomplished? The bronze medal for sure with Team Canada. Um, just because it's on a global stage and, and not many people can say that they won a medal. And Canada hasn't won many medals at the World Championship, so by far that one uh, is at the top of the list. And hopefully uh, we get, might get bumped down if, if we do something big at Gonzaga. So I, I'm hoping, but we'll see. Yeah, we, we we're rooting for you at Gonzaga without question. I know you're heading off tomorrow to Europe. What are you heading off to Europe for? Uh, an exhibition tournament in Lithuania. And then after that, we go to Latvia for the World Championships. And then I'm back for a day or a couple of hours, and then I'm gone to summer school. So uh, busy summer, but that's the way I like it. A very busy summer. What do you, that's what you like. Speaking of that busy summer, packed into that, you, of course, always want to work on your game. What is that big step that you want to take, that next step that you want to, to break through on your, on your game? Uh, just everything. I want to be as unstoppable as possible. So I'm going to be playing against tougher players at Gonzaga, some alumni come back so that's gonna be great to challenge myself every day I don't always get that up here so um, be able to test my game against some of the elite players that have been there and been to places that I want to get to so uh, that's gonna be a big thing Without a question you mentioned elite players mention a couple guys that have helped out your, your process of growth throughout your career so far well my parents it all started with my parents um, they, they introduced me to the game they've always been supportive so um, shout out to my parents I love you guys um, but other than that, guys like Roy Rana, my high school coach Brent Evans, um, a lot of people have, have played a, a factor in it. I, up at sports camp in Olympia, been to many camps, and so I, I can't name one person, but so many people have helped me along the way. Um, a game hoops, uh, Kyle and Stu Julius, they, they've done a great job with that, and they're taking off. So. Um, yeah, I could name a bunch more, but I don't have time, sorry. Yeah, without a question. And you mentioned taking off. The Canadian basketball scene has been taking off in the last couple of years. Where do you see it five years from now? I, I see us doing big things. Um, hopefully we have a bunch of guys in the NBA and we won't be able to name them on one hand. Um, I, and I hope that we, we medal consistently at the World Championships. I don't see why that's uh, not possible. So I, I'm hoping with the, the group we have, we stay focused and not get caught up in too much hype or anything, that we can push each other to, to make ourselves elite globally. So we'll see. Without a question, a busy summer ahead for the man Kevin Pangos. I'm Carlin Gay. Check out NorthPoleHoops.com, the leader in Canadian basketball. NPH, leaders in Canadian basketball.